Hey everyone, I'm Michelle C. Smith, professional badass. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to the June 2020 Badass Skill of the Month. This month we're learning backhand flip high whip with two stabs. So every month I teach you a new badass skill. Your job is to learn it, practice it, and have fun doing it. I'm super excited to share all these skills with you, so let's get started. Before we go anywhere, please make sure you hit that subscribe and little bell icon down below so that you don't miss out on any of these brand new skills that I'm bringing to you each and every month. Okay, so this month we're doing another double staff trick, backhand flip high whip. And if last month you worked on your double figure eights, this one's gonna be much easier if you didn't. Well, good luck. In your left hand, you are doing a backhand flip catch in the same left hand. So I do have a tutorial for that. I'll link it down below. So basically, left hand is doing a backhand flip. You want it to be able to come up a little bit higher around forehead height. That's gonna be the optimal space for that. So make sure that you can do 25 successful backhand flips, catching it cleanly without moving. My feet aren't moving. Now in your right hand, you're gonna be doing high whip. Okay, so that's swinging down all the way around, loop at the top, and then coming back to three o'clock. You don't have to do the low whip, okay? And then you're gonna do those at the same time. Now we're gonna start with a progression where you're just moving your arm with no high whip. So for this progression with your right arm, all you're gonna do is just draw a circle. You don't have to add the high whip at the top. You're just gonna get used to moving your arm around the staff that's flipping. backhand flip starts, that's when you're going to start moving your arm down. By the time you've released it, your right hand should be at six o'clock down at the bottom here. So as I release, this one comes around and then I want to keep the circle nice and tight to my body so that I don't knock the backhand flip out of the air. So I don't want to bring it up to this corner here or I'm going to hit that stack. Okay, so all I'm going to do is backhand flip with my left hand, bringing my right arm down, circling and then catching palm up in my left, making sure that my circle stays nice and tight to my body. So do that again, backhand flip, circle, catch in the left hand. So once you've done that 10 to 20 times and you have the rhythm of that, because it all it is, it's just a rhythm, then you can move on to adding the high whip at the top. So again, you have to have your brain doing two things at once. So making sure you've worked on those coordination drills that we did last month, is gonna be really important. Okay, so. I'm starting my backhand flip as my right hand goes down, then I'm gonna bring it down, around, high whip as I'm catching, and then that's it. So this will pretty much take up all the time of your backhand flip, and then as you're catching, you're actually high whipping at the same time. So backhand flip, high whip, catch, and that's it. You can do this with two Cali sticks. You might be able to do it with the sword if it's light enough that you can get a nice backhand flip out of it. But I just really like it. It's super simple and flashy once you get the mechanics and the coordination down. And yeah, I like it. So that's why I'm teaching it to you. The key to mastery with these staff spinning skills is repetition. So what I want you to do over the course of the month is try to your best to do 1,000 reps. Hey everyone, I just wanted to pause the video to tell you why I want you to do 1,000 reps. Now it's common knowledge that 10,000 or more reps is gonna create something close to mastery, maybe not quite. 1,000 reps is gonna be enough for you to download and comprehend the skill and then also give you something to practice and work for on the other end of it. It's easier than you think to do 1,000 reps. You just break it down into little micro steps and that will be enough to get it done throughout the month. And then you have the skill, you won't have to learn it again, but then you still have something to work on on the other end of it. Thanks again for watching. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and follow me on all the social platforms so you don't miss out on any of the cool stuff that I'm posting. And I love hearing from you. So please make sure you leave me a comment and hit that like button down below. Also, I love seeing your progress, so please make sure that you're sharing it with me. Use these hashtags that I have up here, and I would love to see what you're creating. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next month. Bye. The key to mastery with these staff, skin, staff skinning skills. Wow.
this just got dark. <laughs> it got dark real fast. If you love these badass staff skin, skimming, skin, oh god. You're skinning a lot today. <laughs> we still get the battery? So good. One take, I don't think you need more than that.